Welcome to Casa Grande High School. We're a pretty large school. We're next to Sonoma Mountain High School, which you see over here. Small alternative school. You can see through the redwood trees and buildings back there. The front administration building. And then we have our solar panels over in the parking lot. These first set of solar panels in the front parking lot here are just a smaller set from what's in the back area there. We'll also include, a, pretty soon within the next month, some charge stations for uh, four cars to go ahead and plug in, either hybrids or full electric. This is the beginning of a senior project. Uh, we're going to be landscaping this lawn area, converting it over to a shrub of native plants here in the next few weeks. And it was six, um, six seniors have volunteered to do this. One of an Eagle Scout project, which uh, we helped with uh, about a year or two ago, helped uh, build these frames with these uh, boxes so that we can have now annual plants here right by our front door. Right, right behind our administration building, we have some nice redwood trees um, sitting behind there in the lawn area. There was another senior project that actually built this sculpture here in the middle of campus so with CGH all the way around it. Various things with a pencil and pen on top and an eraser. And a couple years ago, we went ahead and built these uh, containers in the middle of the campus where students can sit and they're all planted with native plants. Here, and they're all right in front of our library building with an area where students can congregate. I'm now in the center of campus, right here in that spot we just showed you, and I'm going to pan around around the entire school so you can see in a circle uh, the number of buildings and the lawn area that we have. There's a full acre out there that we'd like to eventually convert over to a um, permaculture style lawn and, and other things like an outdoor kitchen. We have the big gym in the back area with some fields back there. We have the science and art buildings on one side. We have the counseling office right here. In the background you'll see the biology building and then right on back a little area we have the organic garden back there and then back to the uh, library. We have a multi-purpose room over here, and this is the back side of the library. And here is our organic garden that's culinary arts programs, and it's cooking. Uh, creates the uh, foods from the various vegetables they pick all year round. This is our new uh, drama room, and also music room, a small tiny little theater in there. And right behind there is our uh, small music hall uh, where our, our orchestra plays. This is a small little quad area where we have our biology building with four classrooms in it. And right next to that is a, um, a little garden that we've created, all of native plants. There's a bat house that comes sweeping down across. And it's all native plants that we planted by students in here. And behind here now is the hatchery, which we'll get a closer look at. Okay, we're in the now student parking lot. And you can see the solar panels up here, quite large. And there is uh, the gym in the background, the football field back there, and we have a telecom communication tower from T-Mobile. Now a and is about to happen here, but we get a little extra funding from having that tower on site, plus some better receptions. We have some tennis courts back in this range right there, and you can see much more of the solar panels. They're up above. Uh, there's like something like two kilowatts of power coming from these guys. Here's the main uh, power station grid that you can see all these uh, units here that collect all the energy from these units and send it on to the main grid. Then we have some soccer fields back there. And then from there, you'll see a nest up, a nest up there. And that's from, um, sometimes there's a, a larger bird that sits there, but it's, it's a wooden structure, kind of, kind of a fake thing, but it looks really cool. Uh, the large flagpole and then coming on to our hatchery area. This is the Casa Grande um, hatchery for fish. We, something like 10,000 fry get produced here every year and get sent to the local creek that has been restored here. And Tom Fur has some international fame for having done that. But they were able to build this uh, million dollar facility to uh, just do the fish and to have his classroom here on wildlife. And this is the native plant nursery that we have in the back of the baseball diamonds. And this is a uh, fields back here with some baseball. That our team is actually pretty good since we are highly supportive of that from the young kids on up. See a larger field for playing in with the gym in the background and a redwood tree with a parking lot back here too. Okay, in our native plant nursery, 
We have the stock shed there, plus a little media bin, with some uh, storage area in the background, but up above you'll see that there is some solar panels and a wind turbine and another solar panel back here that uh, work up, fill the batteries with energy, which run the night lights and also the pumps when we need it. The work areas, a whole classroom can fit out here working around the tables. There is a small hothouse that we developed from an old baseball uh, backstop. And then there's a little wash area to keep the pots nice and clean. This is our bench area, so it's easier to uh, weed and water when the plants are young and small. And then we place them out here in the, on the ground with overhead irrigation. Uh, so growing up to larger shrubs. And we grow all the way up to 15 gallon trees in the background here. And you see we're about 40 species throughout the uh, facility here.